it was such a good fit that we were all invited to stay on in the winter uh, for, for the television season, uh, which we did. And we kept doing the same stuff we did for Glenn, but we're now doing it for, for Tom and Dick. Uh, Lorenzo Music and I wrote a lot of the Tom and Dick model. We, we all had kind of specialized. <coughs> uh, and uh, Lorenzo Music and I wrote a lot of monologues. And one of the monologues we wrote was for Bob Newhart when he was a guest on the show. And originally, one of the things that w worked on comedy variety shows you would do a segment that ran from commercial to commercial, you know, 8, 12, 14 minutes of uh, either a, 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 a long, long form theatrical sketch and into which you would interpolate music and dancers because every variety show on television had a chorus and a bunch of dancers. I mean, there was, you know, there, there was, that was real show business. One of the features of the Smothers Brothers show that that uh, differentiated us from Laugh-In was that we would do uh, long-form theatrical sketches. We weren't going in and out, bing, bang, joke, blackout, joke, blackout. Uh, the show that won the Emmy, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but the show that won the Emmy, which uh, Lorenzo and I co-head wrote, had a long-form sketch with David Fry playing uh, uh, the king and doing his best Nixon impression. Mm. So we, you know, we, we could really mix it up. So we were doing, when Newhart did the show, we had a long uh, segment planned that was going to be kind of a takeoff on 30s, uh, 30s movie musicals, like Flying Down to Rio. And we were going to have dancers on the wing of an airplane and you know, just all that stuff. And Newhart was going to be the air traffic controller who was bringing in the plane with the dancers on the wing. And it was, you know, comedically would have been very funny. <coughs> but as it turns out, the dancers had too much work to do. There wasn't enough time to rehearse the sketch and the, and the wing dancing. And the set was too complicated and everything. So slowly the segment grew smaller and less ambitious and, until it was just a monologue for Bob Newhart. And we wanted a new monologue, so Lorenzo and I wrote something called the Air Traffic Controller, in which Newhart plays an air traffic controller. And that monologue, uh, it worked very well. It was, Newhart did a good, we did a good job of writing it. Newhart delivered it great. And then uh, he, Newhart was still working, you know, obviously working in Las Vegas and touring. He was a huge star. So Newhart went to the producers of the show, Alan Bly, some smothers, and said, I love that monologue, you know, you know can I have it? And it, they owned it because we had written it as writers for hire, but these were the kind of mensch that they were. They said, make a deal with the boys, pay them. You and Lorenzo Me Music. And Lorenzo. So Bob Newhart made a deal with us, paid us good money, and incorporated air traffic controller into his act. Mm. Then, when Newhart, a year or two later, was going into network television, he remembered this funny bit that some television writers had done for him, and he got in touch with Lorenzo. And Lorenzo and Lorenzo had a new a new writing partner by that time, Dave Davis. Right. And uh, and. Lorenzo and Dave pitched Newhart on this, the concept of his show, and Newhart hired them and did the Bob Newhart show, which became a huge hit. And to Lorenzo's credit, when they did the TV Guide article on the Newhart show, they talked about how Newhart had spotted Lorenzo on the Smothers Brothers, and Lorenzo wrote a note to TV Guide saying, no, no. There were two of us in the room when that sketch was created, and it was Carl Gottlieb and, and I who wrote that. So yeah. Nice to get the acknowledgement, but would have also been nice to have co-created the Bob Newhart show. Yeah, I wasn't invited to do that. 